So what is heart failure? Sim simply speaking for us, we need to increase our cardiac output as we exercise, walk and talk and do any effort. And the cost of increasing that cardiac output is slight increase in left ventricle filling pressure. Our filling pressure or wedge pressure or parallel capillary pressure would rise by about two, three, four millimeter of mercury as our cardiac output increases three to five times. However, in heart failure, for the same degree of increase in cardiac output, the left ventricle filling pressure rises much more. And if the filling pressure rises more, people will get dyspneic or effort intolerant. So cost of rise in cardiac output with effort in terms of LV filling pressure underscores the definition of heart failure. That is a much simpler way of looking at things. Clinically, wh wh what do we call failing heart? Multiple underlying conditions like coronary artery disease, diabetes, hypertension, aging, CKD, obesity, obstructive sleep apnea, COPD, myocarditis could cause failing heart. And what does failing heart cause? Elevated filling pressures. How do we recognize elevated filling pressures? Well, we could actually auscultate patient, look at the third heart sound, pulmonary do an ultrasound of the lungs or X-ray of the lung, look for curl A, B, and A lines, or do an echocardiogram and you can you can have indirect estimate of filling pressure. You can cardiacatrize this patient and measure the wedge pressure. And if the filling pressure is elevated, then the dyspnea or effort intolerance, which is occurring, is of cardiac origin. And that is heart failure. So I was telling you that 1% of the entire adult population in India probably has heart failure. By that logic, 10 million people have heart failure. 2, 2 million are added annually at least. Annual mortality is 20 to 25%. Two-third are patient heart failure with reduced ejection fraction, probably 25% heart failure with preserved ejection fraction and heart failure with mildly reduced ejection fraction. And 50% of patients have diabetes. Ischemic heart disease accounts for 70% of all heart failure in this country. Valvular heart disease accounts for 10% of the heart failure because rheumatic heart disease is still quite prevalent and degenerative valvular heart disease is slowly increasing as we are getting living longer and getting older.